WWE Money in the Bank kickoff show. We had the SmackDown Tag Team titles being defended. Jimmy and Jey Uso, they came out with a mission. And it was so close. I mean, they almost had to get out of here. They ended up capturing no different than what Hero Fix had predicted. Rey Mysterio actually caught them with a 619 where he managed to capitalize on both at the exact same time. But it wasn't enough. Jimmy had rolled them up. Jay was holding them down in, from the outside. Referee didn't see it. And brand new tag team champions. We're going to cover the entire card. So if you are stopping by to the channel for the first time, hit the subscribe button, drop a like, and let's get straight into this. First official match of the night, it was for the women's money in the bank. And some surprises, but at the ending, it was like, dude, you could have just gone with the original thought that they were going with. And they pretty much led in the same direction that I had predicted were Alexa Bliss. She was either going to use telekinesis or the light effect where it goes dark she didn't use that but she definitely used something right there on selena because i would say the highlight right here the one that had the most likely chance to walk out as the money in the bank winner it was selena but the thing is is that nikki cross like out of nowhere right there was about six women on top of the ladders they were all trying to fight for it but all she did is just snuck up up in here grab the money in the bank claimed it and dude what a freaking ending like i'm Tanya did not see this coming like I know the whole character that they're doing lately with her it, it's definitely an, an evolution from where she was at but did not expect this but yes Nikki Cross well in this case Nikki Ash A-S-H that's what they call it man I know it's crazy but yes money in the bank winner right here raw tag team titles being defended AJ Styles and Omas bringing heat right Viking Raiders they've always been that tag team that just kind of knew as to where to correlate onto the next move but apparently AJ and this man over here had figured it out. And I would say out of the entire match, this would have to lean more towards Omas with his in-ring ability. He really stepped up, man. I know we've been talking a lot about this. So the fact that he ended up coming in here, doing some body slams, military press. Of course, it was that choke slam where he picks him up, slams him down, and still retains the Raw Tag Team title. Bobby Lashley coming in here no different as what he's been doing these last months. The guy's dominance has been proven. Kofi Kingston, again, it was just a stepping stone. It was a pay-per-view. It was money in the bank. They needed somebody to compete for the WWE Championship. Fortunately, this was the man that was chosen to get crushed. I mean, the dominance was left. It was right. He was all over the ring, but it was a submission. It was the Tapskis. He was going nowhere. Bobby Lashley had it cinched in. He was tapping. He says, hold on, stop, man. Maybe I can come back. And at this point, I don't know why you would, Kofi Kingston. That guy was champion about well over a year ago. So the way that he was just dominated, I can't say I agree with this. I know where they're going with Lashley. They are really trying to build them into the almighty but again they didn't have to do it still wwe champion all women's champion rhea ripley defending it against charlotte and we have to give credit where credit is due if we see this match as a whole we saw something good right here. Rhea Ripley, she was stretching it out. She even had her cursing. She was in the middle of the ring. She's saying, what the hell? And it was because she was taking her to the limit, but it wasn't going to be enough. Once the figure eight was locked in, it was all cinched. It was no place for Rhea Ripley to go and for a new champion to be crowned. We knew this was going to occur. Only question was, was Rhea Ripley going to be able to hold up here at Money in the Bank? Want to do a live crowd return? This is how we do it. The eight-man ladder match delivered. Crowd was wild the entire night. This is awesome. Holy shit. The whole crowd was insane, you guys. I got to say, a lot of highlights. I think Kevin Owens, he's going to need a backyotomy for sure. After what these men had put themselves through, yeah, he's going to need some special treatment. Someone's going to have to look that over. He ended up getting flipped over the ropes onto the ladder. Ended up breaking in half. It was just a bad spot. And then Ricochet, he was doing this whole crisscross. The man was running across the ropes. And as he made it to the very end, he ended up flipping to the outside. I'm telling you, so such a good match and one that really needed to steal the show and it did now Kevin Owens did come pretty close I would say he was probably the one that had come the closest Rollins was there Drew McIntyre doing some high flying spots where he dived over the rope onto all seven other men but it was Big E that ended up capturing the money in the bank briefcase and how is it going to play out like as a face it usually doesn't I think it always falls a lot better when it is heel so had it been Rollins had it been Kevin Owens even bro I can even 
see him doing some really good skits. But yeah, I mean, the guy has done great. This past year, he has really worked extremely hard to get to this point. So very much well-deserved and right here, he'll be carrying it pretty damn good. I mean, obviously, if New Day and they were all complete and they were coming down the ramp, I could see them doing something with this. But look, regardless, as an individual, this is what Big E has needed. This was the moment for him to get that new leaf turned into the next page and your brand new Money in the Bank Hero Fix. He only gets to hold it for 365 days. Don't worry, man. When he cashes, he'll be doing something with it. Talk about main event of the night. Universal Champion Roman Reigns versus Edge defending it. But it wasn't so much as to what we saw in the match. And yes, it was a great match for sure. We got multiple spears. We even got some outside where we were breaking barricades. But that wasn't going to be enough. No, we needed a wild card in here. And that was your boy, Seth Rollins. He came out here. He cost the whole match for Edge. I mean, he kind of had it. Referee was knocked out. And Roman Reigns saw the opportunity. But again, it was all boiling down to as to what was going to occur. Seth Rollins, he ended up confronting him. He actually ended up attacking Edge one more time after the match. But it was after the music started playing. And brrr, Dun, 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 dun. John Cena ends up showing up at you if you don't mind. Great match, but we got to pull you off to the side because the man himself has made a return and there wasn't one single word that was mentioned. No, there was no mic. There was no promo. It was him just coming out. He started taunting him. Big dog in the yard. So we're already getting the feels. He's right. Is it going to be a triple threat match? Is Seth Rollins going to be all tied in here for the Universal Champion moving forward? Or will it just be a one-on-one -on -one John Cena match? making a huge comeback pretty excited to see as to where this is going to go sure we'll get some more answers as the weeks progress SummerSlam is right around the corner so this yeah it's going to go down man give me your thoughts let me know what you guys thought about the pay-per-view as an overall set I say that the whole return the people in the crowd this this is what we needed you guys I want to thank you guys for watching be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one